I'm Gary Johnson, and I'd like to tell you some things about myself that maybe you don't know. Uh, I am the former two-term governor of New Mexico. I got elected governor in a state that's two-to-one Democrat, promising to bring a common-sense business approach to state government. I've never raised taxes, not one penny. As governor, I was labeled the most dangerous politician in America. I was more outspoken regarding school choice than any governor in the country when I served. Bring competition to public education. I may have vetoed more bills as governor of New Mexico than the other 49 governors in the country combined. I vetoed 750 bills as governor of New Mexico. I took line item vetoes, thousands of them, to a new art form. In a state that's two to one Democrat, me being a fiscal hawk, People in New Mexico today wave at me with all five fingers, not just one. <laughs> I'm a competitive athlete. I've done hundreds of athletic competitions. I still compete in skiing, mountain biking, and road biking competitions. I'm planning to ride the divide which is a 3,000-mile unsupported mountain bike race across the Continental Divide from Banff, Canada to Antelope Wells, New Mexico. I've done Ironman Hawaii four times. I've done the Leadville 100-mile run. I'm also an adventurer. I'm a pilot. I'm a gas balloon balloonist. Uh, I was co-pilot in winning the America's Cup Gas Balloon Challenge two times. I've had four gas balloon flights of over 2,000 miles. I've climbed the highest mountain on all of the seven continents. I summited Mount Everest on a recently broken leg. I am a fierce competitor. I'm a fierce defender of civil liberties. I think that people need to be able to make their own choices in their own lives as long as those decisions don't adversely affect others. I've been an entrepreneur my entire life. Uh, since I've been 17, I've paid for everything. I started a one-man handyman business in Albuquerque in 1974, and in 1994 actually grew my business to employ over 1,000 people in New Mexico. I learned a couple of things. I learned a lot of things when it came to business. Was one, one of them was the magic of sharing in the profits. It's just amazing when you share in the profits how the pie gets so much bigger. And I learned about hiring and firing, how it's easy to hire and how it's so difficult to fire. But if you can't fire people, you find yourself in a situation where you end up going bankrupt. And that's really the disconnect in the public sector, in the public sector. As you have a president right now who's never hired and fired, so he finds it really easy to hire, and I don't mean to just pick on President Obama, it's the public sector. You find people who have never hired that find it so easy to hire, and because it's so difficult to fire, they never fire, and what you end up with is really dysfunctional government because of that. I sold my business in 1999, Nobody lost their job, and it gave me my financial freedom. And financial freedom for me is the ability to do what I want to do when I want to do it. It's freedom. Money is freedom. And so when government takes away my money, they're taking away my freedom. They're taking away my ability to spend my money the way that I want to spend my money. 
I'd like to give some advice to everyone here, and my advice is worth exactly what you're paying for it. <laughs> and that is, is to take whatever it is you know and apply it entrepreneurially. The rewards will be a hundredfold. You will never regret it. And as difficult as it will be to start your entrepreneurial venture tomorrow, it'll never be easier than tomorrow to start that entrepreneurial venture. I'm running for President of the United States. Right now, I'm seeking the Libertarian nomination to do that. I am the third party. The Libertarian Party will be on the ballot in all 50 states. There are only three parties in November that will be able to lay claim to that, Democrats, Republicans, and Libertarians. I believe the biggest issue facing this country right now is that government is too big, it tries to do too much, and it spends too much. $20 trillion in debt and rising is unsustainable. I advocate balancing the federal budget now. And Democrats and Republicans are both responsible for this unsustainable debt. Balancing the federal budget means reforming Medicaid, Medicare, Social Security, which I think will actually be kind of easy. I advocate eliminating income tax, eliminating corporate tax, abolishing the IRS, and replacing it with a federal consumption tax. I say let's use the fair tax as a template for how we dot the I's and cross the T's to, in fact, implement a national consumption tax. And if eliminating corporate tax doesn't create tens of millions of jobs in this country, I don't know what will. I took third place in 2012 with 1.3 million votes. I heard from many that they didn't want to waste their vote. Wasting your vote is voting for somebody that you don't believe in. <laughs> By the way, eliminating corporate tax and eliminating the IRS will send pink slips to 80% of Washington lobbyists because that's why they're there, to garner special favor. Government is for sale. Crony capitalism is alive and well. I happen to think that term limits is a silver bullet. That if term limits were in effect, politicians would do the right thing as opposed to whatever it takes to get reelected. I believe in free markets. When it, came to, when it comes to health care, I reject the insurance model. If we had a free market model for health insurance, we would have insurance to cover ourselves for catastrophic injury and illness, and we would pay as you go in a system that was very, very affordable. Stitches are us. Gallbladders are us at thousands of dollars as opposed to tens of thousands of dollars. Google me, Gary Johnson. If you're serious about reducing the size and scope of government, I'm your guy. My favorite veto as governor of New Mexico was a Republican bill that was going to require pet stores to exercise their dogs and cats two hours a day, three times a week. I got to tell you, that's where I want to buy my dogs and cats, but in my veto message I said, this is where I want to buy my dogs and cats, but if I sign this bill, the next thing I'm going to have to do is fund the dog and cat exercise police. Back to some more advice, worth exactly what you're paying for it. Tell the truth. Keep your word. Be on time. It shows respect. Don't say one thing and do another. That's hypocrisy and that's unforgivable. 
get a job that you love. If you don't have a job that you love, quit and get something that tomorrow you'll enjoy getting up and spending your time doing. And lastly, a request to all of you, you have the ability to do this, get me in the presidential debates. Get the Libertarian nominee for president in the presidential debates. I applaud each and every one of you for your activism. You make a difference in all of our lives. You make a difference in your communities. People look to you for guidance. And for that, I appreciate it. And for that, I really appreciate the invitation to be here to speak with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.